Good morning. Uh, so today, what am I going to work on? Yeah, so um, I need to do a couple more things with the Simpipixie CLI, the next version. Um, I want to make the ping flag a command rather than a flag. Um, and then if I've got time, I'll fix up the help messages for a couple of other things. Uh, the import and the copy command. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure. We'll see how quickly it, quick it is to do these things. Okay, so we will catch up then, I guess. Uh, right. So if I just do a bit of a clean up here. Uh, make sure everything's okay, everything's made. And then bring up the daemon. And then just think. Do it up here. Bump up. Text a little bit there. Let's do one more. It's big now though. Okay. Um, so at the moment, if I do snip a bit, see, get the help messages, we have a ping flag. Um, and when I do that, we get pong back. I can also do um, hello. And it doesn't, oh yeah. That's interesting, it doesn't even do what I expect it to do. Yeah, yeah, don't like that. So um, what I want it to do is something like ping and that and then so you should go ping it's not going to at the moment we basically want to make it a command rather than a flag because this is a new thing uh, for this new cli um, it's not something like um, the export or the import uh, which i need to keep around for legacy reasons um, so let's do that then This might complain about Go being updated, or maybe not. No. Okay, that's fine. Right, uh, I can close all the other tabs, and it's the config I need actually. So first off, let's do a quick make test. Make sure it's all okay. It is. Um, and now I'm going to work out what we're going to do. So at the moment, we have default flag set, which has these ping things in. It was basically one of the first things I did when I was setting up this brand new CLI. Um, and yeah, I hadn't quite worked out what I wanted to do. Uh, but now I want to switch this up. So this is a command instead. Um, so let's have a look what else we got down here. Got the ping there. So that's going to gonna have to come out. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's just double check, make sure I've got everything. Them should be down to the case statement, and that's it. Okay, that's great. Okay, right, we will duplicate. What's an easy one? Um, that's not quite what I want, is it? I want 
It doesn't really matter, actually. Because this is uh, going to be a super simple one. So, imports, export. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate this. I think. Yeah. Um, and we will stick it somewhere before. Well, just before it actually, because if we're doing it alphabetical, I'm not by the looks of things. should refactor this clean up in uh, order and stuff. Go default and I'll just stick it before R. Okay. Just ping. Call it ping. Okay, now let's go get ping. So, ping, and then what we're going to say here, ping, response, yeah. Ping the daemon for expected response string. This is different now, isn't it? This is, um, hmm. I can make this simpler because we're inside the ping command. So we can do this. Actually, undo that response because we want basically all I'm doing here is we're going to have a flag. So by default, you do ping and it will return pong. But um, if we add a response instead, it will return that. So you can verify that everything's working as it should. So um, we have a default response of Pong um, and the response usage, we're going to say ping the daemon for expected response string. Uh, we're going to have whatever they put as the response into the response field. It's called response and we'll say R. We have a default response, which will be Pong. 
and our response usage message goes there. Right, yeah, so this is slightly different now, isn't it? Don't need that. Or do we? Yes, I think we do. So we're going to do response here. This is um, an old thing that says that if we don't have the option, we can still set it up to do the thing. Okay. I'll have to check to see where this works. Can't remember now. Um, if we can't pass the arc, so if say they someone goes snippet pixie ping dash dash wibble, uh, we want it to show an error said no, wibble doesn't exist as a flag. So that carries on there. I have a feeling that I can get away with removing most of that and put in just the ping stuff instead. So we have command ping. We expect it to go into a response. This might be all we need. Okay. Uh, what I do need to do is get a shot of all this in here. We don't have a ping flag anymore. So I can take that out. That should be it. Okay, so I now have, in theory, um, oh, I should call that. <laughs> we need to set it up. Um, actually need to say hey if we do have a command ping go do the the init the ping oops Oh. That would be a good idea. Ping snippet. That's more like it. In it ping. There we go. Okay. Right, so we get some commands come in. Sorry, some args. Uh, if the first arg, if we so if we have at least one arg, look at the first, see if it's a string like any of these. If it's ping, go do the init ping flag set. 
comes in our options for the usage message basically our ping and then a response oh Put in flags there, can't I? I think that's how I normally do it. Wonder why I haven't quite. So that's what should be in there as well. I might end up just fixing these things as I go along. Right, so list does it properly. Flags. Import flags. Help. Export. Hmm, I'm going to be fixing all these things as I go along, to be honest. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't. Um, I'll test that later. Export snippets, import. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. Okay. So, pink. Let's make sure it's okay. We get a response, hopefully. We have a default response. Uh, it should work. Um, so, tests will fail now, though, because we've just changed the way we do ping. We no longer have this set up. We no longer go snippet pixie dash dash ping or dash p um, so tests fail make test fail yeah so we're getting a usage message which is good unknown shorthand flag p that's good okay expected that so let's change this up. So we are now well what we could do is we'll just duplicate that one for a second and we'll just say ping and we expect that the response is set to Pong by default without setting anything else but the command because we set up sort of flags to fill in the command uh, sorry, fill in the res response if we instead hmm, well Yeah. Uh, let me think. We do ping and then another argument of Wibble on the command line. We expect Wibble to be the response that we are going to ask for. If we do minus R, and also, also remember to put in ping as the command, 
logo response of that. That's covered already. If we do the long form, we should get that. Okay, we're good. Okay, all these things here, interestingly, can go. Anything with ping down here doesn't exist anymore as a flag. And I can keep this one, but just swap it around so it's status first. Version takes precedence over status. So status on its own gives a status. Version on its own gives version. Anytime we've got version and status, we expect to get version. OK, let's move this. One, two, three, four. Or DD and then down, down, down. Let's do it just before we move. Just make it alphabetical. So we have ping, ping and a string, ping and a short form flag, ping and a long form flag. Okay, in theory, let's see, nope, we've got to fail. Okay. Oh, I bet I know which one that is. That'll be the string on its own because I haven't set it up that way yet. OK, what I think's failing here is this one where we do ping and then a expected response because I haven't actually set up for that. Yeah, what I need to do is this kind of thing. Not quite actually, there's a probably a better off we got we should have hmm. Yeah, I don't need that, do I? Uh, what about export? Hmm. 
No, not that. I'm looking for one where I've, I've set it up. I just want to nick. <laughs> nick the code for where I've set up where you've got an optional string. Hmm, okay, I think this is what I want. So if you imagine if I have this as a response, so if the response flag is set, we're, we're sorted basically. Otherwise, I'll just do, if it's greater than one there, then I'll do some other um, number of args not valid type thing there. Otherwise, I'll set it to. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's what I want. You'll see, you'll see what I mean when I get to it. So at the moment, we check that the general structure of the flags is okay and do the parsing of it. But here, what we're going to do is if the response lag, this one, Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll trim it up. Might as well. Otherwise, if the number of arguments that are left is greater than one, something's gone wrong, they've added too many. Um, too many. supplied. Otherwise, response is equal to the first argument. If the length of the response is equal to zero, then something's gone wrong there. Don't know how you would get to that, to be honest. Or trim space, I suppose. Um, I'll just say here response Uh, must not be empty. So that covers the case where someone's put in an argument of like space, we've trimmed it back down to nothing. And say, no, you can't use that. You need to have something to come to go back and forth. Otherwise, everything should be okay. I 
might test that in a minute. Okay, let's make a test on this. Huh. Response must not be empty. Right, usage. Ping, flags, response. Response string equals pong. Ping the daemon for expected response string default. Pong. And then I've got that. Okay. Let's look at the tests. What's the chance? I bet it's this. I'll comment that one out. So the one where we don't supply a response and it should therefore use the default. I wonder if that's where my problem is. It is. Okay. That's not good. Right, why is that happening? I might have to uh, refresh on what this does. Oh, okay. I don't think I need that. Let me just take that out for a sec. So I think the default that we set here will do the job. We'll see. Nope. Hmm. Right, okay, I get it. Right here, if we have more than one, we're going to fail out. But what we don't have is any condition here to deal with zero. So it's looking for the first arg, which doesn't exist, and stuff like that in here. So... Yeah, we can just put a simple wrap on that. Because we don't care about there being zero. So 
So if we have more than one flag, so basically nothing supplied for response, comes in and says, have we got more than one? No. Have we got one? No. Therefore, we should use the default value that's set in the flag. If we do supply a string, it goes, has this changed? No. Nope. Uh, have we got more than one? No. Do we have one? Yes. Use it. If we supply two strings in separate arcs quoted or whatever comes in have we changed the response no have we got more than one yeah bail out okay i think i'll cover it what i do need to check is whether this is going to be useful or not but we'll see okay so that passes now that's good I put this back in. That's fine. If right, so this is kind of the case where you pass in response, but you don't actually give it anything, so you don't give it a string. Does it still do the do? Oh, yeah, I'm expecting it to be Pong here because we're falling back to the default, hopefully without failing out. Okay, there, yeah, okay. Right, that's good. So if someone forgets, Just yeah, we shouldn't really, but right, short form still works. And let's do a quick test here whereby we do this. Does that work? Do we get Wibble? No. <coughs> Excuse me. What happens if I take that out again? It's just like test-driven exploration of a thing. Right. Ping the daemon for expected response string default. Flag needs an argument. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm not, not going to use that default thing. I don't think I need that in this case. So that means these tests here should go away because they're not valid. But this one where I do response and then wibble separately. That should work. Or well, want it to work. It does. Cool. Okay. Right, so that covers the use cases there. Ping on its own. Ping with a string, short form flag, 
long form flag, long form with a string. I guess we should do short form with a string just for completeness. Okay. And what about testing for failure conditions? So if you go ping and then some flag that doesn't exist, it should still pass. Okay, now. If you do ping and then you do Wibble and wobble should get an error message because they're two separate arguments. Yep. If I were, this should fail now. So the test should fail because it's valid. You should be able to do a string on its own, quoted string with spaces in it. So this test should fail now. Yep. Because it didn't fail. Um, what else can I do which will fail? Oh yeah. Um, response on its own. And the short form ISO. Okay. Uh, just to chat, I mean, this is the, this test here, I'm actually testing failure conditions to make sure we get an error message. So when it comes into here and it runs through all these different scenarios, um, we're grabbing standard out error output. Um, and we're expecting it to have something in it. Um, so we're grabbing it um, and testing that the length of it is greater than zero. Um, and that it always begins with usage as well. Well, it contains usage. Um, so that's why these failure conditions pass the test, because we're looking for failure conditions. Okay, so... Right. I think we're good on that. Uh, let's actually make sure it works. Um, so we'll make and snippy pixie on its own. Does not have the ping flag anymore, but it also does not have it listed as a command. Oops. Why? Because there. What's the old message? Hmm. I guess I could carry on doing that. Yeah. 
let's say, ping the daemon. Can always change it later. Okay, so I've got ping in there now. Ping the daemon for expected response string. If I do help in its own, we get the same thing, but without the flags. As the help command says, hey. Give me some command. If I do ping, it fails. If I do list, it does the right thing. Ping, it does not. I think we had this um, problem before as well. Oh, is that why? Is that the help? It is. Okay. Right. Add, expand, export. We haven't got import, which I think is one of my to do's. And I copy, yeah, copy, and I obviously missed out on import as well. So copy's not in there. So yeah, just double check that. So if I do help copy, same problem. If I do help import same problem uh, export we think works does list already tested uh, what about remove it that should be okay then. yeah so we've got copy uh, export and ping so yep copy These little things that I've missed as I've gone along. Import. So, export now works. Copy does not work. Hold on, did I do a make? Hold on a minute. Oh, it was import that I missed. Okay.
Yeah, import. Okay. Right. So let's start again. We've added copy. Import. Just double check copy. So copy abbreviation. Import file name. Uh, what else have we added? Just ping. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, I think we're good there. Does that mean my config test is out of date? Did I do any for help? No. Okay. do help command and we expect so what we're going to do we do Right, so help on its own is no good. That is an error. And if we redirect standard output to dev null, we'll still see the error. If we redirect standard error to dev null, we'll see nothing. Can't use that as a pass test. So I do need to try and do a help of something. So let's do add. And when we do um, add, okay, we always expect it to have usage and then the binary name and then the command. In this case, we could take all that. And So what commands do we have? Copy. Expand. Export. Import. 
help itself. And list. And remove. Oh, and ping. Okay. I don't know if I did copy in there anymore. Right, copy. Expand. Export. Import. Help itself. List. Ping. And okay. Okay. Now we should see a fail if I just leave it as that, because copy does not show Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't show the spec output actually. Okay, anyway, I better do it. So let me pixie help. Copy. This is good. This is what we expect. We'll just stick it in. It's more about making sure that I don't break things in the future. Because of that. And then copy. Expand. Export. Now I think I can do export and I do so if I do export on his own, uh, we get a data-based JSON file bumped out. If I do wibble.json, does not work. Okay, so that's something I probably want to include. Okay, but it's not there at the moment, so that's fine. Something to do later. Uh, help, this will be interesting. Does it even work? Help, help. It does. Import right now, I know that one is able to take files, so 
If I do import design, it should throw an error. If I instead add this, does the do, do right so that means I should expect not just this but also file name stuck on the end so I'll stick that in there and say I expect file name so that will go bang at some point. Okay, I'll just quickly finish off the rest here. Uh, so help list Um, running out of time very, very rapidly. But we'll get there, I think. We'll try. I'll be as fast as I can, and then I can I go. Remove. Okay, yep, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so these should fail. Okay, it's a shame it doesn't tell me which number. Uh, if I then go and fix up the help message for import, Double check that does what I think it does. Yeah, if you don't give a file name, you've got more than one or less than one uh, arc throw an error. Otherwise, take the first arc as the file name and do the thing. Where's the one? Oh, that G, yeah. Just, okay. Pass. You. Excellent. Okay, I think we're good. Right, we have just done day one, day two, and thirty-three. Okay, we've done them all. Excellent. Let's commit them, let's get rid of that. So it doesn't go anywhere. Uh quick make first test and snippet help it did do copy didn't we yeah it's good okay all right then I gotta go Make in a command fix messages. Day one, two, and day three.
Refresh this. Yep, just fixed up there. And they're gone. Good. Smart. All right, and I'll be off and building now as well. Yep. Good. Cool. All right. More CLI stuff done. Gotta go. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care. Bye.